All right, Sarah, you have two days to learn a routine. So I need you to be smart, and I also need you to be amazing. Sarah's routine is entitled Sun Goddess. It has a lot of acrobatic tricks in it. And Sarah is one of three soloists I have been rehearsing to go head to head for nationals. Open sea, you will guard the garden gates that open up to me. The kid is on cloud nine, and the goal for, for Sarah, I know for my daughter, was to always dance with your kids. And I mean, look at my child. She hasn't stopped smiling since she's walked in the door. I'm so excited that this is our week, but Sarah definitely has something to prove. None of the other select ensemble girls placed higher than a third place, so Sarah needs a win. Cross it over. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, you okay? You sure? Tell me if you're not. Up, me, chin stand. I don't think her feet look good. That drives me crazy. Arch pretty down, up, get up. You're a whole set of steps behind schedule. Nia, you're doing spoken word in a competition. Risky. And make Maya Angelou proud. Sarah, you're a guest here today, but you are going out there representing the Abby Lee Dance Company. Nail every step. Do what you have been taught to do. None of the select ensemble members seem to be winning with a solo. So Sarah really needs to prove herself to me today. This solo is her one shot for nationals. That's all she's got. Please welcome to the stage, Sarah. Sutton got it. I will sound the sirens of the widened open sea. You will guard the garden gates that open up to me. She did take Abby's corrections. She applied them, but Sarah looked a little nervous. So, Kate, what did you think of the solos? My honest opinion? Yes. I thought that Sarah had sloppy feet, her transitions were not smooth, and she had no connection to the judges whatsoever. That's your opinion, but thanks Great. for your input. She asked my opinion. I'm giving you, I'm giving you, you my opinion. But you said nothing nice about my child. All you did was say three mean things about my child. I asked her opinion. I asked her what to say. I know that you're fighting for your daughter for a, a space and a spot on this team. I am, too, for my daughter. Well, the select team is still up in the air. I got rid of Ava. I don't want her. It didn't work out. I'm testing Sarah this week. Just don't tell other people that I invite to my studio what's going on, because you don't run my business. I, I, and I don't pretend to. I just want to know what she needs to do, Abby. What, what more can Sarah do? It always comes down to straightening your knees and pointing your feet, doesn't it? We'll see how it goes, but it's my business. I can invite anybody. I can throw anybody out. Tracy needs to realize, first and foremost, this is my studio. Her daughter is not the only one auditioning for me today. And if Sarah does win, do I really want another mother who's going to be disrespectful and question my every decision? We have the overall solo category Fourth place, Sarah, Sun Goddess. Sarah is announced as fourth place. Sarah is obviously devastated. This is her dream to be on this team. I don't know what this means for her. Sarah, I think that you could have danced better. I'm gonna let you go. Tracy, you're done. What, what does this mean? Pack up Sarah's stuff. I will be in touch with you. Is anyone gonna stick up for Sarah? Don't you guys want Sarah here? I mean, we like Sarah. Whoa, wait a minute. 
This has nothing to do with liking a child. Don't even go there, woman. She wants to be here. I brought her to a competition, and she got beat. I'm gone. Dara. This is ridiculous. This is not what I signed up for. Two down, five to go. All these new moms tell us they're going to be different. They're going to move to Pittsburgh. I can tell you how each one of their stories is going to end each week, and it's with the door hitting them on the ass on the way out. JoJo, you're back. You got the invitation that I wanted you to stay another week. I made a decision that JoJo should come back. She can be sometimes rude, but can she get on stage and be fabulous? Yes. She has that extra little spark. That's great for Los Angeles. I think the kids could learn something from JoJo. The group routine is called Frozen Together. This is the last week before Los Angeles, California. I think it's time to start working because this group dance must be amazing. Spread apart. You need to be pretty and you're frozen. You're the frozen ice queen that's freezing everybody and you are the little sister that's looking for her. The group routine this week is inspired by the Disney movie Frozen and they need to buckle down. I don't want another second place. They can't go to California as the biggest loser on the stage. Doing this competition team on this side of the country is stressful enough. Going to LA, a new studio, I'm competing every weekend, as well as auditioning. We're biting off way more than we can show. Mia hardly gets Abby's attention as it is. Could you imagine going out to LA, what it's going to be like, everything else going on? All right, let's see it one more time. JoJo, turn that posse up. Plie, push. Posture on the ground, posture. JoJo. Kira, were you making fun of JoJo's voice today? I was imitating on what she said, the girls. It wasn't making fun of her. What were you making fun of her for? She doesn't give a what anyone okay, but does. you just yelled at me last week for we don't talk about it in front of the kids. I was just saying the truth. You would be pissed. You don't that's say it in front of the kids, and that's the bottom line. So you have double standards? Of all the moms here, I thought Kira would have my back. I've known her for a long time. For her to make fun of JoJo, that's wrong. I think you guys just can't believe that I'm still here, and JoJo's still here. No, I, I can actually can't believe it. Actually, because... I don't give a who's here. Learn how to give a Learn, Learn how to show up. How to be respectful, I am mindful, Kira. grateful, I am and Kira. a guest. I, am. I think you instigate and you stir the pot. You plant seeds and you say things and then you just let I it just explode. Kira made fun of JoJo in front of her. Holly, can you teach some manners? I think some people can't be taught schools out, no class. You ready for Hollywood? Yeah, always. You know, Abby's like, I don't know if you're going or I don't know what's going on with you. I can tell she likes you. JoJo wants to dance. She wants to work. Like, it's who she is. And I give her a lot of credit for wanting to stick it out and try to essentially win Abby's heart over. I still can't even believe we're in Pittsburgh. How long do you want to stay here for? Forever. Forever? <laughs> oh. Just stay here as yourself, though. So. Don't stay here as someone you think she wants you to be. Okay. I want to do big things, do movies, do commercials, but I would like to be on Abby's team, and I would like to travel with them and do their competitions. I know I can do it. Woo! <laughs> now you're ready. Are you guys going to be okay with it if JoJo goes to LA? We don't have a choice. I'm fine. Whatever. I mean, I think Abby knows JoJo would do well if she could take her out there for a person who's just not even really a member of the team to expect that there should or could be a space moving to LA. That seems like a really big jump to make. It's OK if you guys are threatened by JoJo being here. It's OK. <laughs> Jess's opinions are really irrelevant to me. I am not going to give Jess the satisfaction of seeing me upset. She's not an Abby girl, though. Oh, I think Abby likes her. All right, girls. Do the group dance. Use your faces. Let those judges see pretty faces. Tell the story, Maddie. Northern lights, what was she doing? Her own thing. She's feet behind. Late, Joe. 
Jojo. She looks like she's thinking too much about the next one. Well, she's watching. She watches people in the mirror. Jojo, sit good right foot. Some kids just aren't good group dancers. They want to be stars. They want to be soloists. To be a successful working dancer, you need to dance with everybody. Jojo can't do that. What should we do? I need to make a decision about Jojo or Miss USO. Is that really a costume? You want to see a costume? Do you hear that kid say that? I'm like, wow. You see, that's where you cross the line. She's finished. Thank you. Go upstairs and tell your mother that I don't think you're in the group dance. She said, Jojo, go tell your mother that you're probably not going to be in the group dance. But the part she says I'm late on, I'm not even late on. Don't you let her make you cry. <laughs> She's not worth it. Personally, I think Abby doesn't have her act together. Like, who takes JoJo out of a dance? Seriously, no one takes JoJo out of a dance. Now, JoJo was not handling the group choreography too well. She was a beat behind. I think she does just fine with your girls. You, just fine, is good enough. Me, I don't like just fine. No, I'm just as critical I, as I don't you like are. Just fine. I just want as critical as you. Fabulous. No one is perfect. I'm not no looking one for perfection. Is. That's not the point. We're looking for a kid that's going to book a job. Right. JoJo right. will book a job. You take her to How LA, you know she that? will book How a job. How do you know that? I know that. And they will like her. How can you, you be so that? sure I know of that. that. I gave up a lot to be here for these two weeks. You got people oh, sitting oh, here I don't want to hear what you gave care. up. If you feel you're giving something up, forget about it. You're getting something, sweetheart. <laughs> OK, we're never coming back here again. Why, why is Abby mad? I'm not sure. What is going on here? Abby is totally on edge. I don't know what Abby's up to. All I know is it's making me nervous. Why well, didn't someone at this thing tell us that? Then I would have put her in. Do you, do you know the order of the solos? Jojo! Have you learned nothing? Do not address her until she learns to say, excuse me, when two adults are speaking. I am too old for that crap. I'm the first one to call out JoJo's bad behavior, but clearly something is up with Abby because she had no reason to lash out on JoJo like that. Did you look at the program and see anyone you noticed? Know I think she's worried about who's going to come and try to beat Maddie. I think it's something on social media. This is why I'm a little upset. When we got here and Gianna turned the music in and got the program, Kendall and Maddie were in the teen division. What? Because it's 12 to 14 here. She's 11 years old. She isn't even close to a teen. Neither and is Maddie. Maddie. Barely 12. Why would they be in the teen division? Her birthday's in December, so she would have turned already. Is our group a teen? Yes. Our, so our group is a teen group as well. This competition's teen division starts with age 12. Luckily, JoJo's birthday keeps her a junior, but Maddie and Kendall both have to compete in the teen division against much older dancers. That's awful. And it pushes our group routine into the teen division, too. Not good. A child never has to dance older than they are. I don't believe that. You do that PK arabesque, your back leg is not beside you. It's behind you, it's turned under. We're competing in the teen group. This number needs to be amazing in order to win. Maddie, it's all about you if we're going to win today. Abby, if you replace one of your older dancers with JoJo, it'll drop it down to Junior. An older teen, or do you mean Nia? Me and me do most of the same stuff. I work for my place on this team. I want to see And if you would just accept Abby's decision as a team member. Just giving her choices. My kid has gone through so much this week and then just had the audacity 
to suggest that Mia be pulled from the dance so JoJo can take her place. That's a ludicrous statement. JoJo, would you really want Mia not to dance at all today? No, I what, Would you I really think that? Would JoJo you really didn't think? say a I know, word. I know, but I'm not, but she's saying Mia. Honey, just, just stop now. If you guys want to go to LA on a win, maybe it should be a junior. Enough. Aren't these moms all about putting the team first? What's more important, Nia's feelings or the team winning? Miss Abby? Yes. So am I doing the group dance? No. You don't blend well with others. OK. We have to go. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm shocked that Abby didn't pull Nia. I think the group dance would be amazing in the junior category, but I think they're going to get eaten alive in the team category. They look like babies. Next up is act number 72, Frozen Together. The kids danced amazing, but it's definitely the same old dance and choreography. And I don't know if it's enough to beat their much older competition. And I would hate to go to LA on a two week losing streak. The teen small group category. This number needs to win. We cannot leave Pittsburgh for LA without a win. Our third overall. Back number 70, impossible. Our second overall goes to act number 72, Frozen Together. It hurts to see the girls lose two weeks in a row. We're supposed to be gearing up for this big adventure in LA, and now we're on a losing streak. I just hope this doesn't eat away at the girls as we head to LA. Hello. Hi, Abby. How are you? Are you ready to work? Uh-huh. Okay. When Vivi Ann came to work on her solo, her mother Kathy dropped her off because she was going to have lunch with Melissa. And I was thrilled to get rid of Kathy for the hour and a half. All okay, right. I'll talk to you later. Okay, Bye, thanks, honey. Kathy. Have fun. Vivi is cute. She's a nice little girl, but she's not at the level that Kathy thinks she is. I don't know if privates with me are really what she needs, but hey, if the check's clear, let's do it. Good. Chasse sauté. Chasse, Nini, or more four. Vivi is not strong in acrobatics. To the right, to the right, to the right. Her jumps, her leaps are not as strong, and she hasn't learned a lot of the things. Step, right, kick, left, start over. She's dancing at a five, six year old level instead of a seven, eight, nine. Vivi needs to step it up. You have to keep your knees together. 
She just needs to be in class day after day after day. Once she's with the dance company, she's going to be more independent. And now we'll see if Kathy can handle that. All right, let's take her on the top, kid. I decided to invite Melissa to lunch today. Information is power, and I think if Melissa wants to be my friend, then I can get some very useful dirt about the other dance moms. Now, do you know the other husbands, um, like Christy's husband? Yes. And what do they do professionally? Kelly's husband, he um, works for a family business. And then what about Christy's husband? Christy's husband works for Children's Hospital. Oh, really? Yeah, he's Is like he a doctor? No, he's a writer. Oh. Like, I'm not really sure. And then what about Holly's husband? What does he do? Um, he just got a new job. He was working in, like, nonprofit organization. OK. So what does your husband do? I'm I'm going through a divorce right now, so I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. The girls are OK with the divorce? Melissa did not tell me that she was living with another man who was paying for her daughter's dance lessons. I got that from the other moms, so I already knew that. It Hi. doesn't seem, Melissa, like you're like really, really, really close with some of those other moms. No. Um, you can't trust anybody. Melissa's in charge of scheduling private lessons, so I may need a favor from time to time. I told her if she needed to talk about anything, that she could definitely come and confide to me. But I'm busy. I'm not going through a divorce. I have a new BFF. I think so, too. <laughs> I feel sorry for people that are going through divorces, but I'm happy with my life. Thank All right. you. It was wonderful. Thank you. We'll be back. Hi, guys. Hi, ladies. Hi, Melissa. Hi. 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 Um, I'm going to be backstage with you guys. I just want to go over a few things, because we have some titles missing. Um, I have. My pumps first, and that's Vivian, right? No, it's not my pumps. It's called Bumblebee. Bumblebee? But what's? Yes. You want to come with me? What is this? That's what I'm confused about. We need to. Okay. Kathy. Yes. What is with this little rocket music? Um. Vivi was uncomfortable with the solo that we worked on because she had such a lack of rehearsal time. And so we are going to go ahead and do a piece that she already knows. Our whole team is there to root for Vivian so that she feels like part of the company. Kathy informs me that she's going to do another routine. I'm like, what? I'm just changing this to independent entry. You're doing yes. what? You're changing it to independent? Yes. She's not going to be going underneath your name? I didn't do this number. But she's, but she's going to be representing you. Not with a number I didn't do in a costume I didn't design. OK. Can I see you outside, please? We kind of went against the philosophy of Abby, so consequently, we had the wrath of Abby upon us. Please, we need to change this independent thing because it's important to us. I've never seen her even do the number. I know. You're going to have to trust me. Abby, listen to me. I'm not one of these dance moms. Yeah, I'm Vivi's mom, and we're involved in dance, but I'm not that hysterical dance mom. I know what is correct to take to stage. You and I are over here. And if I have to make an ex executive decision, then you have to trust me just as I will trust you. Kathy, I came through. I got the costume finished. The dance was finished. Any other kid, whether their mother's a dance teacher or their mother's a swimming coach, would have had that dance nailed down. She could not do a dance that Abby Lee Miller has never seen and pretend she came from Abby Lee Miller. I have to put into perspective what my child's mental capacity is. Then she gets up on stage and she cries. I don't want cracks. it to be detrimental for any child, but I'm just saying, you don't have the faith in your kid that I do. If you would have just ran it maybe 10 times a day for what three days. Mom, we tried with the bribery. We tried with getting her to get you an iPad. You're the mommy. Just I say you're doing it. I know that. I realize that. I want to see her dance first. OK, so you Give will. Give me that respect. When she goes out for awards, we... I want her in something red and black. Okay, or I a can... costume. OK, uh, then she'll go Moms that go against me don't last very long. They are hurting their children. 
changing Vivi solo, I knew the response I was going to get from Abby. Face, face. Her and I are going to have to work together. Hear it? Up and step. Look. She likes to say that I'm her colleague. Three, four, guns. I may have to have special favors that's different than the other moms. <laughs> that woman is crazy. Shake, 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 shake back. Keep going. The eyelashes are up here. Let me see your eyelashes. She has bobby pins, and they're silver, and gold, and brown, and black, all in the kid's head. She's a hot mess, and my name and my reputation are on the line. You know what, honey? You forget what you're doing, just shake your butt. of doing more difficult choreography than she was given. <laughs> oh, you made one boo-boo. It's OK. It's OK. I am going to pry her away from her mother. I am going to cut those apron strings. And I am going to make that child a better dancer. At this time, I would like to have the following young ladies please step forward. Number 431. Yeah. Good job. Congratulations. And who taught you this number? Kathy Mendes, Mendes, Stein. And the name of your dance studio. Vivian said her mother's studio. I don't know if that was on purpose or if her mother didn't rehearse her on Abby Lee Dance Company. I apologize. Not all competitions ask those questions, and I just didn't even think about it, so I apologize. All I have in this world is my name. Whether it be in, it a, in a local competition it will not or happen again. in a Broadway audition, it is my name. I know, Abby, and it won't happen again. Because okay. that was embarrassing. You need to move on. We're going to move on. We, we can from move on. Look, we, from the wrong look we can move we moved on. on. From the wrong We're moving on. We're moving on. on. I know, but Abby, 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 I know. This is I, know. My I name. know how you okay. are. I know how you are. I know. Abby and I have kind of been at each other all morning, all because of this whole choreography thing. We are actually going to be leaving early today. All right, guys, we will what? see you later. Are you leaving? Yes. 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 Oh, you know them. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You're leaving? Okay. Yeah, we're leaving. I hope we have okay. a long drive home, what, much longer than you guys. Okay. Yeah, but we all came early to watch her. Yeah. I know, I know. So we want to Here. wish you guys good luck. I know you'll do a great job. Yeah. OK. Right. Good job, Vivi. Thank you. God, we woke uh, up at 6 o'clock to six, support her. Five. I'm offended. Like, I really am offended. Well, we're only I am too. Like Those parents are not happy. They didn't have to be here for another two hours. They could have had a nice breakfast. They could have taken their time. But no, they all jumped out of bed and ran over her to, here to support her, and she took off. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five, six, up. Ava's doing a contemporary solo called Drizzle. Immediately when I heard the lyrics talking about the rain drizzling down, that was it, an umbrella. This is really going to put Ava to the test. Can she handle the pressure of going up against Maddie? Feel your back working and your muscles working trying to control the umbrella? Yes, good. Think of a big wind coming like Mary Poppins. Ava's excited about her solo. And I'm very proud of her because she, I thought she'd be a little bit nervous, nervous. but she's not. You're, she's I think excited. You're more nervous than her. This is Ava's time. This is Ava's time to show that she can do it. I would make it very clear to Ava, like her best of the best of the best is probably not designed for her to win. And she needs to know that. Christy seems a little bitter. I refuse to believe that Ava's being set up to fail. 
this is Ava's opportunity with this solo to really show Abby that she can be a strong competitor for nationals and now. Use the umbrella. Put it in your hand. Other hand. Circle it, but it circles. On a technical level, I know Ava can beat her. The umbrella does concern me. I, I, I will tell you, the umbrella concerns me because it's huge. Right, it is huge, and there's a big silver thing sticking out of the side of it. Four. Just put the umbrella on your shoulder. Quit. You're holding it like it's a golf club. Put it up there. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh, my god. Bump. Oh, Ava just poked out her eye. My biggest concern this week is Ava. I'm hoping this umbrella is going to help hide the flaws. But she's having trouble maneuvering the prop around. If she doesn't fix this and isn't fabulous on stage, she won't even be considered for a solo at nationals. Don't kick the prop, Patsy. She's so worried about opening and closing the umbrella that she's not doing it. Like, Ava doesn't have a choice. She's just going to have to do the best she can with it. And if it breaks on stage, it breaks on stage. I, there's nothing else I can do. Oh, oh, the umbrella just broke. I think at this point, I mean, you know Ava's not winning. Like, you do know that. If you don't want her to dance with it, like, stand up for it. There's nothing to lose. Abby doesn't expect her to win. I'm going to go talk to her. I'm curious on why Abby's not either changing the choreography or changing the umbrella. I'm hoping that Abby is at least open to the options. I am concerned as a parent, as a dance teacher, as you everything. Because some of the mistakes that she's making in here, she doesn't do normally. I know that she's the daughter of a dance teacher. I'm kind of questioning your training now. I think she's so concerned about that umbrella. She had, they had problems with it yesterday. One of the ends came off and almost scraped her in the eye. So I think she's worried about it. I think Jeanette is more irritating than any of the moms because she claims to be a dance instructor. She should sit back and say, hey, here's one of the best teachers in the country. I should be grateful for this. But instead, she sounds like a mom that thinks she knows something. And that is most irritating of all. What do you think, Gianna? She doesn't do the solo? Yeah, the solo comes with the prop. Right, solo and the prop, solo, I'm no, just. The solo nothing. and the prop are a thing. Your kid needs a gimmick. Your kid's arms are horrendous. They're like His gargantuan. She looks like horrendous. a praying mantis. They are not so, horrendous. Yes, they are horrendous. So no. giving her the umbrella, it all goes away. We don't have to do this. I understand, Abby. Christy, you sent our girl into the lion's den. Ava can't do anything about her long limbs. There's nothing. Yes, she can. We can no, control them. We can fix them. Me. The umbrella's not going anywhere. Out. Go. Out. Jeanette, what's the name of your studio again? Broadway Dance. Maybe the name should have been like off, 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 off Broadway. Oh, oh pretty. Yeah. Oh, I like the little brush of. Oh, oh, very pretty. Wow. So you two guys are against each other, but you're both representing me. You're new to the group. You're going up against, uh, you know, a seasoned veteran here. Joan and I are going to be watching. Yes? It's time to go. All right, let's go, and you're ready. She thinks you're good enough to go up against Maddie. Don't be Maddie, be yourself, but be amazing. Jeanette has not developed her daughter Ava's arms. So with that, I chose an umbrella that has some weight to it so that she would learn to use her arms correctly from her back. Can she handle the weight? I don't know. This is going to be entry number 12. Please help me welcome Ava and Drizzle. Entry number 12. Too many voices from before. 
Ava showed that she's a true professional. She got out there, something drastic happened to her prop, and she didn't flinch. She finished the dance with a smile on her face. That makes a good dancer. Your daughter was a champ. Thank you. I am so proud of her. Aren't you annoyed that you said that the umbrella was a problem from the get-go and it was a problem on stage? Absolutely. You right. should hold Abby accountable. Here goes Christy egging Jeanette on. If there's one person on this team who knows what it's like to confront Abby when their kid does something wrong, it's Christy. She's setting Jeanette up for failure. I want to address the umbrella situation. We knew it'd break. No, you have this attitude. We knew it would break. Listen, okay. honey, no child of mine has ever gone on that stage and had that happen completely inside out. She did not miss a beat and did it with a smile on her face. That is a sign of someone that can handle the pressure. Well, that's great if you want to think that. I think it's a kid who didn't know how to open an umbrella. It's not worth it to put all the work in and all the practice in and then go out and have something go wrong. To learn from it. You need to buck up, little camper, because I'm not putting up with that crap. Sorry. I just really wanted to do really good for you, and I feel like I kind of disappointed you, and I never wanted to do that. OK, I have to do this. I'm sorry. Get off your mother's lap. Stand up. Grow up. You Abby. are 11 years old. I She's told sitting her. on her, your mommy's lap. Smile. All right? There's a lot of kids in this world that are not as fortunate as you are. They should be crying, not you, sweetie. You got to suck it up, or you won't be doing the group dance. Your overall 9 to 11 solo regional elite top three. Third place champion. Put your hands together for Ava, entry number 12. When Ava dances with me, she gets first place. Is it the choreography? Is it Miss Abby? Is it the props? What is it? Because Ava doesn't get third place. I gave you the opportunity to do a solo, and you were third. It's not looking good. I told Jeanette all week how this was going to end for her and Ava, but that doesn't make it any easier to watch Ava's heart being broken by Abby. Why? She was on the winning team. I don't think you're the right fit. Tia, would you like to stay this week? Yes, ma'am, I would. Tammy, you will report to the studio on Monday. Tia, so will you. Deal. Oh, wait. When I was here, you called me a traitor when I did that. Yeah. I think we all did. We didn't. Okay, I wasn't just but me. you said that you wouldn't do it. And now you're saying you would, Tammy. You said at lunch you'd never do that. You're only going to stay with the select team. Who's the traitor now? Take from this experience, learn from it, if I see you again, great. If not, make sure I'm not on the other side of that judging table. Let's go. They love to be with you. Thank you. I'm done listening to Christy because she has no idea what she is doing. Okay. Stop. Take a deep breath. You look at me. You have got everything. And she is dumb if she does not recognize that. You call it together. 